Hello, 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 and welcome back to Roots of Pacha. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and I'm so excited to continue playing this game. It's been a little while since I recorded the first episode, but I'm excited because I really enjoyed this game when we played it last, and I'm curious to see what it has in store for us. And now I know this game's a little bit older, so a lot of people have already had their go at it, but you know what, this is my, this is my first playthrough. So if you have any like fun tips or tricks, let me know. Let me leave me a comment. Let me know what you know that I am missing because I'm sure there's going to be plenty of things. But look, today's a rainy day and our crops are already watered. I thought I'd make a little path through here though so that we could get a little closer to them uh, or get to them from our house a little bit quicker as well because we did build our kind of garden area near the water to make kind of watering easier. I thought that was a good idea, but I think I still think it is. All right, we've got some stuff here though. Wait, how do I interact with this? There we go. Dried tic-tac, dried porcupine, and another dried tic-tac. So, we got, oh yeah, we got our little drying rack here so we can dry out some food. I suppose we probably need to chat with the villagers. Probably need to clean up these like garden areas so we can expand the garden because you know we're going to be in charge of growing the crops for our village. And I guess we can just see what people have to say. It's nice how everyone gathers on days like this. And this is where we turn in our stuff. So we could drop in, I think, our fish because that's going to contribute to our community. And then we're going to be able to unlock some new things when we have made enough contributions. So looking at our quest, it looks like we've got a few things. We need to be talking to some people. So we've got Oka finished working on an idea. So we need to talk to Oka, talk to Frere about the shallow waters and Voda has finished working on an idea as well. So we need to talk to Voda and the first to farm so harvest our four crops we're still working on but i guess we need to talk to people so can we find them easily on the map yes and i think these exclamation marks are probably the people we're looking for so that's good so let's go down to the main hut and then we can kind of go to the other two after that all right i think this is the main hut yeah that's where we dropped stuff off earlier there we go here we got somebody and it's foda all we need is a hole deep enough for the water to flow into it and some rocks to contain it i call it a well I made you one with the materials you brought me. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, so we could put a well down and that's, oh, that's actually, that's so good. Okay, fantastic. I wonder if we should talk to everybody. Just, we want to be a good community member. So we're talking to everyone, saying hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's see if we can find our next quest person. And here they are. We've got Frere in here, a bear totem. I love fishing, but I'm not sure I'm ready for the clan to depend on just me. Could you help me by catching and contributing three fish? That would help me a lot. Oh, we can do that. I like fishing. Some people love to fish when it rains. I'd rather just hang out. All right, we can go do some fishing. I like fishing in farming sim games. What are these crops? Not ready to harvest. It's seeds. Give it a few days. Okay. Oh, but we got some tomato seeds. Oh, very fun. Okay, we've got one last quest though to turn in. I think in this hut, possibly in the one above this one though. Oh, in here, perfect. Oh, look, they've got all the doggies in here. <laughs> I was right. Hete told me uh, the story again. Our ancestors imitated birds to get closer to their prey. With the right whistles, the animals wouldn't run. This made me think of our flutes, the ones we use for rituals and dances. Some of them sound like birds too. I asked Aker to make this special flute. I'm sure it'll work. All right, so we've learned, or we've got a flute. We're gonna try to make some new friends. Okay, animal friendship. Approach a wild animal and try to interact with it. Once a day, attune with the animal by playing the mini game until all the notes are filled. Oh no. <laughs> Is it going to be a mini game where I've got to have some good rhythm or some sort of timing? Because I am not good at those ones. <laughs> Once fully attuned, more actions will be available, such as talking, which will increase your friendship with them. Eventually, you'll be able to invite wild animals to live in the fields while others can live in your house. <gasps> we could have a pet rabbit. Are you kidding? Oh my goodness. I want that so much. You can also play the flute in a radius by not targeting a specific animal. They'll react depending on their status. Wild animals will show you if they recognize you and fully attuned animals will increase friendship. Okay. Cool. Oh, I want to go play some... I want to play my flute then for some animals. I'll say hello to these doggies, though. Um, can I... Here we go. Can I play the flute for them? Oh, yeah, look! Now they're happy! That's so cute. Oh, my goodness. I love that so much. All right, if we look at the map, though, where are we going to find animals? In the forest, right? So, I guess... There's also something of a bridge over there. This is a huge area to clear out. Like, I didn't really look at this map very closely last time. Like, there's where we're growing things currently. This is like a small garden, but then you've got this absolutely massive one. I wonder where we want to put the well down, like over here, because it's like this area is not necessarily close to any water. I mean, the outside obviously is okay, but in here it's not. Or are we just going to focus on this garden? I mean, I mean, really, which garden are we going to be working on? And also, what is that thing? Is that a seed that we should be going to get? Possibly. Oh yeah, because it looks like there's like tomato seeds down here. Let's go 
see are those tomato seeds we need to be gathering because maybe it shows us in the map where our seeds are ready because actually that would be very convenient oh this is okay yeah, it is this area but these ones are not ready we've harvested the only one that's ready so let's go up and see if we can get those carrot seeds unless they are also not ready at the moment and then we'll go to the forest and see if we can make some animal friends oh yeah in here but we've already collected all of those so we have to wait for those to grow again so let's head into the forest and see if we can make a little buddy okay in the forest let's keep our eyes peeled if we see an animal i don't know how common they are they must be fairly common though Oh, we got some bean seeds in here though actually can we take a look at the map okay so yeah that's where we get bean seeds from looks like someone's in here there's carrot seeds there's whatever that is more seeds up and there are animals so we've got what is those it's, it's like a what are those called i want to say a warg but that's not it like a warthog and then like a deer of some sort an ibex maybe let's go take a look yeah here's someone we can chat with it's grob i used to train outside no matter the weather but not so much anymore oh i see oh there's a wolf moving over there Okay, we can't get over there at the moment. Though. We have to go around. There's no bridge here. Ooh, I found a red mushroom. Oh, there's a baby warthog. He's wondering what that's all about. He just stood up. A tune. Okay, oh, oh what is this? What do I have to do? Oh, okay, we just when the white circle gets in, we just click on his little face. I think we're doing a good job so far. Okay, not bad. Looks like we've got a little friendly with them. Can we attune to you as well? I guess we just want as many as we can, right? So we'll just attune to a few. Get these little circles in. It's very cute. I like the music too. It's so like uplifting you know all right a second one we've got a few hearts hopefully with them then and then look at all the babies can we just play over here oh we can tune to oh do we have to attune to each baby oh my goodness this is a lot of a lot of animals then oh inspect okay we can also inspect them a wild boar a black boar we've got one musical note here can we attune further you've already played music to them today come back tomorrow okay so we've already played some music for them i think we'll just attune to the one baby for now oh there's they are everywhere these guys though all right let's come up here oh here we've got a little deer baby hello let's play a song together i was wondering if the music would be different and it is a little different for a different animal it's very cute though it still looks such a relaxing cozy music cute what is this though it is an ibex okay oh and we've played music for four animals today that apparently is our maximum it just said so i guess we'll have to come back tomorrow to play music for everyone else but we got some potato seeds what's over here what are those parsley oh like wild parsley okay cool we should be able to do some cooking at some point now we're not gonna be able to play any more music for any other animals but i just want to see what we can all collect from up here because there does seem to be lots of resources now stop trying to play the flute stop playing the flute or or play the flute whatever uh Go back to the hand axe, I think. There's some mushrooms down here. Let's grab those. All right, going behind the waterfall. And a shortcut to the village. Yes. All right, the other thing we needed to do was catch some fish. So one of our quests was to catch some fish. And I remember how to do this, right? We just hover over top and let those green. There we go. Oh, uh, we scared it away. There we go. We got a porcupine. Excellent. I think it was three fish we needed to contribute, so we don't need to go talk to him again. We just need to stick it in the bin. We did put the three dried fish, but I don't know if that will count. Okay, we got our three fish. I mean, we could dry, get some more, and then dry them out, but I think we'll be okay for now. I want to see... We need to plant these seeds that we've got, the new seeds, because we did get quite a few new ones. I think we need to go this way. I'm a little bit lost. Oh, yeah, I'm a little bit lost. I've, I've gone too high. Go back down. All right, three porcupines being contributed. We could also, I suppose, we could... um contribute some mushrooms and the parsley i don't know we probably want to do some cooking at some point but you never know we should be able to get more stuff later on let's just contribute that food for now i think it will just help our score and then people will have more ideas which can only be a good thing i think so oh got some more carrot seeds there didn't realize those ones were ready let's come back over here i can't remember what these are i don't know if there's a way to examine them like what were you because i can't remember I don't know. Let's we'll just clear out some more space, I think. We still have like a good amount of energy. It is obviously ticking down, but that's to be expected. All right, we've got just one carrot seed. I mean, no, I might place it in here. I'm not actually even sure what these ones are, but we've got one bean seed. See, these are different though. <laughs> that's okay. It's gonna be messy. I think because you don't get seeds so often and it's kind of random when you find them. So I imagine a lot of the time our garden's gonna look a bit crazy. Here's what it is. We'll be fine. All right, got all of our seeds planted. I'm just spending some time, I think, just clearing out. We are getting a little low energy, but we might as well, I think, just use up all of our energy. Oops, I didn't <laughs> I keep clearing out too much. We'll use up all of our energy. We'll get some resources, but we'll also get some space. There. All right, cleared out a bunch of area. Let's just do a tiny bit of this, like, nighttime fishing. Oh, nope, we're too tired. It's in the red. We cannot do any fishing, so 
Time to just go to bed or eat something, but I don't have any food at the moment, so I guess we'll be going to bed. And we have this well still to place, but I think we'll just hold on to it for now. All right, let's go to sleep. It's the end of our, what, is that the third day? Clan's contributions, 1,300, and clan prosperity is now at 45, almost 4,600. Our contributions, okay, do you know what? That's pretty good that our clan has contributed 1,340 because we only contributed 257. I felt like a lot of stuff, but I guess it's not really. I imagine once we start contributing vegetables, it will be a lot more because we've had to grow them. It's definitely worth drawing them out as well, I think, because the porcupine, for three of them, we got 57, but for one dried porcupine, we got 30. So we could have gotten a lot more, I guess, if we just dry them out, but we had to contribute those ones for the quest, so it's all good. All right, on to day four. The caves are calling and energy seems to be flowing in the caves. Ooh. All right, I think that's through the forest, isn't it? Uh oh, what is happening? <gasps> okay, some vines have retracted and now we've got a cave entrance here. We definitely need to go check that out. All right, new smoke signals as well. Okay, what do we got? The caves are calling. The forest caves at the top of the mountain are emitting a powerful energy. Enter the caves. Okay, so we definitely want to be doing that. And what was the next one? Frere has a gift for you. He wants to thank you for your help. So we just need to go talk to Frere. And then we also need to harvest our crops. We'll have to see if anything's ready. I don't think they will be, but you never know. It's only been a few days. Oh, it's raining again today also. Oh, it looks like some weeds have grown blocking our path that we've made. And yeah, nothing here looks ready. I don't think these are ready. Yeah, it says remove rather than harvest. So I think we don't want to do anything with those. Let's go see if we can find Frere. Now, I guess it's easy to find him because he's the fishing person. So his hut obviously has the fish outside of it. There we go. That was good. It's so nice to have another fisher in the clan. I made this smoker for you. It helps the fish keep longer. Okay, so we can smoke the fish now. It also works for meats too. Smoker crafting instructions, and we also got a smoker, so that's quite cool. And it looks like more seeds are ready over here. We've got some more tomato seeds. I feel like we're gonna be wanting to check these all the time, these seed things. Though when it comes to watering our crops, that's going to be a bit of a pain, isn't it? If we plant all of these things every single day. Now, is there seasons in this? There must be, because yeah, it looks like the calendar is ticking across, right? So those would be the seasons kind of interesting i wonder how that will go all right how many seeds did we get just to, just plant those in there then job done now the mountain the cave that we were looking for was that in the forest i think it was right i feel like i saw a cave where we chose to go left towards the waterfall i think we could have gone north to get into the cave and this i guess this gives us the opportunity also to play our flute for the animals important i suppose to remember that we can only play it for four animals so we could probably pick and choose which one we want to befriend first Let's attune to this little baby Ibex. He's very cute. A light brown female Ibex. Very cute. Okay. So we'll go with you and then maybe this little guy. And this one must be male because he's got the horns and it seems like a good idea to get one of each. Oh, I somehow missed that one. It got red. It's the first time that's happened. Surprisingly. There we go. Let's see. No, it's also female, but it has big horns. I thought that was going to... I mean, it doesn't actually have horns here, I suppose. All right, let's hold on to the other two. Oh, this guy's already singing. Is it? Oh, because we probably attuned to him yesterday. Oh, no, it's the one we did already today. Never mind. <laughs> okay, got some more carrot seeds, though, which is nice. And we want to continue to head up here. Oh, yeah, these big guys. So, yeah, this one we tried to attune to before. So let's attune to him, too, again today to see if we can get that second note filled. The wild boar trusts you now. If only we had a place for animals in our clan. Okay, so that might mean we got a oh, no, new idea. We got really close with these animals. So I'm going to do the one last animal here. We're gonna need to probably do another quest and then make an animal pen. I don't know whether we've learned how to make the animal pen or if someone else will have the idea for it, but that's fantastic. And then we could have some animals. I wonder if they lose trust over time. Like if we don't sing to the same guy tomorrow, will he lose his trust? Because if we just use our four a day, cause I, yeah, I think we're done now. Yeah, we've done our four today. So but obviously you're gonna to wanna to do lots of different ones, I imagine. Ooh, some quinoa seeds, I love quinoa. Oh, and rose hips, that's cool. It's like anything that looks different. I just need to make sure I go and click on. All right, here we are at the cave entrance. So let's enter in. I wonder if we need our torch. Is it going to be dark in here? Ooh, what is that? It's like a glowing turtle thing. <gasps> He's so cute. There's a Trella. Oh, there's a green one as well. Dawn, it's okay. Just do what we practiced. They're magical. Don't remember my lines. I got this. Oh, and a yellow one. Just don't be overly dramatic about it. I would never. <sighs> The caves are a maze of challenges built by the totems to test you. It won't be easy, but you can do it. To pass these trials, you must first prove your strength by breaking rocks. Sorry. <laughs> Just gave too much information. Good luck. 
So it must be these rocks in here then. So, or do we have to go into the cave door first? Do we... Okay, so let's get out our hand axe. There we go. We only broke two rocks, but the cave door is opening. What are these things? Nothing. Do I need to talk to you? Good luck on your trials, Trella. Hey, there's a little pond over here. Do we just keep breaking rocks? There we go. And another door's opened, actually. Okay. What is this? It glows. Inspect that. This power is still out of reach. You may have proven your strength, but there's more you need to impress. What is this? Can't get it. That's a shame. All right, so I'm guessing we can't do anything with this yet. Our power is still out of reach, so we must need to learn something new and then maybe come back. We'll have to see. Okay, we'll have to come back and see because we haven't learned anything new. However, we do have some new quests. So Kroll has a new idea. Our animal friends seem to miss us when we're gone. Kroll thinks he can help. So we're going to need to go and talk to Kroll. And also, Oka has a new idea. It takes us so much time to travel the known lands. Oka might have an idea that can help. Ooh. Some roller skates. No. <laughs> that would be crazy. A boat? No. What would be... I mean, a canoe is like an early invention-ish. Yeah, let's take the shortcut back. We need to go and see if we can find our friends. Let's take a look at the map before we wander around too, too much. So down in the first house and the house above the fishing house, whatever house that is. Oop, there he is. It's Oka. Animals are sure fast. If only we had work as fast as them, then we could reach places faster and carry things from further away. Oh, to be able to ride the animals. We need three roots. How do we get roots? Okay. I can't remember what we've got, but we need three roots. I have no idea how to get roots. Okay, we'll have to figure that one out. All right, next in here, what do you have for us, Kroll? You say that you can understand wild animals now. They're friendly and would like to come to this fertile land too. I've seen animals take shelter in caves. Some of them build their own houses like birds and trees. We need, oh my goodness, we need a lot of wood. 40 wood. And then we can build a home for our animal friends. Okay, it's going to take two days to do that, but we need to go get the wood. So why don't we use up the rest of our energy today trying to go get some wood. There's tons of boats, so. And what do we need? We just needed 40, right? So we need nine more. That's not that bad. All right, that gives us to, brings us to 40. So let's go back. And we'll see what he says. Oh, wait, or do we need to right, talk to Kroll to research? Discuss idea. Research. I'll think about a shelter for the animals. I'll talk to Oka and Voda about their needs to make sure they feel at home. Kroll has begun working on an idea. So it says it's going to take him two days to think about that. Now we need to figure out how to get roots. And I actually don't know how to get roots because we've never had them before. Hmm. I'm going to try to catch a fish. I want to try to use our inspect. Okay, what do we need? Currently processing. One porcupine. Smoked porcupine. Five hours remaining. Most water animals will give you smoked fish and any meat will give you smoked meat. So we're going to try to smoke our very first fish here. I think we could probably do more than one. This game is just so chill and cozy. I am absolutely loving it. All right, two more. Oh, no. Yeah, two more porcupines, I think. Inspect. Can we do another one of those? And another one of those. This one has a black dot there. I wonder what that means. Like, is it better quality, perhaps? Not sure, but we'll have a couple of smoked porcupines on the go. We are sort of running out of energy. We could get one more smoked porcupine, I think, on the grill. I think it has room for four there. On the smoker, I guess it's on a grill. We could grab some to dehydrate as well, because obviously that's going to be better for our contributions. Oh, if we get them up put on today, then we can finish them up. But well, we can contribute them tomorrow. Oh, move away. The fish is noticing us. This is such a good game. This is such a good little mini fishing game. I love it. Oh, move away. Oh, we still scared him away. Oh, I was very excited about that one. Darn. Patience is key. <laughs> I don't seem to be doing so well with the patience thing. There, we did get a tic-tac though. So let's stick him on here, I think. So then we can get a smoked tic tac and then see how much that's worth compared to the other smoked one. And I suppose let's stick the other up here. We can also dry out fruit, meat, animals, any tree fruit, butternut squash, and chilies. So yeah, quite a few recipes we've got on here. All we've done so far is our fish, but we are also completely out of wood. So just gonna burn up the last of our energy getting a bit more so that we have at least some in case we need it but we are just about out of energy and that's lucky because it is actually really dark let's let's go to bed another successful day i would say <laughs> oh man okay i am so excited about this game and i hope you are too but that's about all the time we have for this video for today if you're still enjoying roots of Pacha, let me know by leaving a like and i will see you next time take care Bye bye